Oh uh, well, I figured I'd do a quick video since these aren't really out on the market that much yet. I had to wait four months to get this thing, so I know some people are still waiting. Um, so it's worth the wait, guys. I'm telling you, this thing's pretty awesome. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I ordered it uh, mid-November, and I got it uh, mid-February. Uh, this is the Polaris 570 SP Premium Crew. Uh, the Premium gives you the wheels, power steering, um, a couple other little things I don't think are really worth mentioning, but um, it's pretty slick. I'm trying to think of uh, what I ordered with it. So I ordered the windshield. It's the glass windshield, not the pop-out. And then uh, the windshield wiper and the roof. That's all I ordered from Polaris. I ordered <clears throat> and already got the KFI 5,500 pound winch and winch mount. Pretty simple install. Um, there's a tray right here. Kind of comes down and then up and it attaches there. Attaches to the bottom uh, of the winch. Um, this thing's really capable, a lot more capable than I expected. This is my first side-by-side -side, uh, by Polaris. I'm actually my first Ranger. Um, <clears throat> I, uh, I had a Sportsman before this, but we found out we're having a kid, so I had to upgrade to the four-seater so the kid can come with us. Uh, one of my downsides to this thing so far, and I'm kind of confused as to why they did this, but you see the underside of the seat's super muddy. I didn't clean the under, underside of the seat, but my first trip out, all of this, this is the fuel tank, got caked in mud. Uh, same on that side. I'll walk around over there and show you. It got caked in mud. Um, and this is the battery compartment. <clears throat> I mean, it was just packed. Um, even that there got kind of full of mud. You can see that's still in there, that big storage tub there. Uh, but the reason is... Uh, Polaris tried to save a couple cents, I guess, a couple pennies, and this spot right here from, from where my finger is tracing to about there, all the way to the top, was completely open. I took the mud flap off of a semi uh, at a truck stop. I didn't take it off. I bought a mud flap and uh, cut it down and kind of put it in there and bolted it in just to keep that mud out of there. I don't understand why they did that. Uh, again, probably to save a few pennies, but... Um, yeah, anyway, I don't know. Uh, I love the tailgate. I think the tailgate's really nice and useful. Drops open. It says 250 pound uh, weight limit on the tailgate itself. I'm probably about 210 and I've sat on it, no problem. Of course, the bed, they say, can carry, what, 500 pounds or something. Uh, nice tilt uh, bed. Opens right up with a kick of that lever. I'm not touching it because it's super muddy. It's muddy down here in North Texas right now. Easy access to everything. Fill the oil. Uh, the oil filter is really easy to access on the other side. I'll show you. Uh, oil filter. Or maybe it's on the other side. I don't remember. Oh, it's right there. It's really easy to get to. Kind of see it there, the black thing. Obviously, the fill is there too. There's your fill, or there's your dipstick. Oil filter's right there. Get to it really easy from underneath the seat. Uh, two inch receiver, standard, it's pretty nice. I don't know if that is a premium thing or not, but uh, it's a nice, nice thing to have. LED tail lights, kind of surprised by that. <clears throat> um, it does not come with a miniature schnauzer. That'd be cool if it did though. Lots of leg room in the back seat. I was kind of surprised, I'm, I don't know, five, I'm five foot something, maybe 5'10", five 5'11". Five and I've got plenty of room back here. Nice grab bar. Uh, my knees are I don't know, about that far away. I mean, it's it's a decent amount of room. Uh, cup holders in the back. It's kind of nice. The skid plate's kind of rinky dink. The premium. I don't know if it's. Pre I think the premium comes with the skid plate. It's just plastic. There's nothing really fancy to the skid plate at all. I was expecting something a little bit better, but. That's what they gave me, so whatever. Uh, everybody's talking about this under, under seat storage in the front, and I was not expecting it to be this big. It is huge. Um, here's a, it's a pretty decent sized D-ring, right? This is, I don't know, I don't know 
what size D-ring that is, but three quarter inch, four and three quarter. I don't know what this is. It's big, right? Um, this this storage is no joke. Now here's the here's the tool kit that comes with it. For example, I mean it's huge. The storage is huge. <clears throat> Everybody talks about the storage, but I guess you really don't realize how big it is until you see it in person. Lots of these little nooks and crannies, pretty useless. I don't know what you would put there. These are nice little bins. My truck key floating around down there is probably not a good spot for it. Put it in this humongous glove box. Glove box is really big. Uh, these USB things I put in, they, they, they are cigarette lighters um, from the factory, but I put these little USB things in off Amazon. Uh, there it is. I put the winch switch on there. This is the windshield wiper. This is really cool. I really like this one wheel uh, diff unlock thing. The turf mode is what they call it. I really, really like that. And then Polaris's charger, that's kind of cool. I'm using a different charger, but it's nice that that's there, I guess. Um, cool uh, cup holder here, cup holder up here for the front, which is really nice. Uh, that's about it. I mean, like I said, it's pretty sweet. I like it so far.